thank you, my sister, for coming and, and, and taking the time out of your busy schedule to be with me here at One Africa in Ghana. Oh, my pleasure, honor, and duty. Yes, yes. So tell me, please, what is it and who is it and when is it that you do what you do? Uh -huh. Full name question. and where Very you are. And, and just tell us why is it important for us to be in Ghana at this time. Yes. Well, you know, my name is Dr. Desta Yeshima Bet Megu Mered, and I live in Addis Ababa, where I represent the Diaspora Africa Forum to the African Union. And my work there is essentially to ensure that what we're doing here in Ghana serves as a strong symbol of our connectivity and our commitment to the African diaspora ab abroad, Africans abroad, who want to return home, whether it be for permanent repatriation or to study, to visit, just to touch the soil and to restore their soul. So, in a nutshell, this is one of the things that I do, again, to the African Union and also to all 54 member states, because Addis Ababa is the diplomatic capital of the continent. And so it's a strategic place that somebody must be there so they never forget who we are. Oh, sure. What is my inspiration? Mm. I must start with the present. I gave birth to 10 healthy children, five sons and five Whoa. daughters, including identical twins, which were my number nine and 10, right before I was admitted to law school at the University of Florida. And I didn't know what was to come, <laughs> but I got through. I've been very blessed in my life, very, very blessed. And so to whom much is given, much is required. But I'm very blessed because of what my ancestors have done to protect me, to preserve me, to carry me on this road. Without the ancestors and the angels and the saints that are walking, what we call the touchables, touchable ones, I could not do what I do. So I don't have a choice. <laughs> I share, I share. That's why you have so much passion. I love that. I love yeah, that I because don't have a choice. And you know, it's a joy. It's a joy. As a mother and I'm a grandmother of nine, everything for me comes from that energy of mother. You want to make sure are the children okay? Is the king man okay? Are the elders okay? And that gives you that joy. You're not yes. looking for anything forward. That joy that you get replenishes your soul. You know? And then there'll be that stranger that you don't know from anywhere, but that know you all of a sudden just come to you and say, Mama Desta, so and so and so remember me, I was the one that saw. And so it's just a joy. If it's a beautiful day, that's repayment. If there's rain and we need rain, that's a repayment. Yes. You know? Yes. So we're very, very thankful. One of the things that we've also done, I'm um, by profession, I was trained, I'm a jurist. My Juris Doctorate is from University of Florida and um, currently I'm a creative consultant also, that is my business, how I do my work because the Diaspora Africa Performance is basically an or a volunteer organization. Right. So I cover all expenses through my creative consulting. Now what is that? I use the arts and the mantra for my company is developing Africa through art, through the arts actually. So we're using our artistic expressions from abroad here at home to connect us together and let us understand the value of who we are and even take it to another level to say you know what the art is a 58 billion dollar industry just on the continent and in the middle east how can we become part of this process of what they're doing to commodify that we are in control and we are benefiting and our children are benefiting from this thing called cci creative cultural industries so this is what I've been really pushing very, very hard. I curate major exhibitions for the National Museum in Ethiopia, um, different, different places on the continent, including here in Ghana. And my vision now that I got two years ago is to build PACMA, the Pan-African Children's Museum and Art Center. It broke my heart when I found out that there wasn't one children's museum on this continent where our babies can go from little and experience science, technology, engineering, the arts and math now called STEAM from our perspective in order to help them really be the ones who are going to take us 
to this next stage. Yes. Because yes. that's uh, my money's on the babies. Yes. I believe in the babies. I believe in our children. And so whatever we have to do, we'll do it. Including, again, over 500 children that we have in Addis Ababa that were living on the street for 11 years. I saw what the gift of love. We didn't do anything special. We give them love. And a little food and look at this. You know, allow them to go to school. Now some of these children have graduated university. One or two are even married. One or two are even finding other children in their community that we can help to, sure. to go to school. What an investment. Yes, yes. So I, I am so, you know, our connection is just so deep. So, you know, for me, I'm not even going to waste this time speaking about us. Let's talk about what this movement of this giving of citizenship. How can Nigeria, how can the Oni implement or use this as a, 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 a way of, the door is open, of coming in and, and, and why is it important? This is critical um, for me personally because my first experience is in Africa, began in Nigeria, in Apapa, <laughs> in 1992. This is where I touched the soil and shed for the first time my tears of reaching here. So Nigeria is very, very important and special. And coming from Jamaica, I feel my, <laughs> my people there. Nonetheless, it's the same as Ghana. We know we were divided during the Berlin Conference. Right. So we understand why there would be this natural connectivity. Nigeria is in a very profound and special position to also be a part of receiving members of the diaspora, members of the six region who have returned home legally to receive this citizenship and to follow passport. Nigeria can do it. It's a simple thing that each government has the mandate to do on their own. Now the benefits of it are not just economical, we're not talking remittances and, and even the, the plethora of intellectual wealth and experience that we bring back from outside. We're talking about moral obligation. We're talking about recognizing Asha. flesh to flesh. Asha. I'm your brother, I'm your sister. What better thing when somebody look you in your eye and touch you on your shoulder and say, welcome home, you're part of me. Yes. Money can't buy that. Money cannot buy that. This is something deeper and it begins a healing process yes. and prosperity that will even come when you reconcile this gaping hole, this pink elephant in the room that we don't want to talk about. Yes. As you say, it's finished, yes. it's done, it's yes. not no. done. Our babies in, in and America we see, yes. are being shot down. Yes. And and we see the repercussions of it. Yes. Where children in 2016 have to say Black Lives Matter? Really? So if Africa and Nigeria, places like this that is filled with the intellect, I would say, of the continent. And the rich heritage of Ile oh, Ife, Ile Ife oh, being the source. Oh, the and, source. and the only just at open up and he, his whole uh, platform is making Ile Ife a tourist, genera uh, a you tourist see, destination for and people to see the heritage, what, what we come from. This is it. And young people. Being a mother of 10, you can imagine, my children are from 37 to 19, that's the range. Yes. So all their friends, when you're a mother of 10, you oh automatically God. have another, how much, hundreds. They want to know, Mama Desta, how can we get home? Because they see my children coming back and forth all the time. How can we get home? How can this be a reality for us? So in Nigeria, in doing this, it will open up corridors for tourism, for exchange. You know, and so it's the right time. I it's the right time. I and anything that I can do in any way, shape, and form, I'm here to serve. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you so much, oh, Sister Desta. This is just beautiful. I'm a second